Hello everyone, this is Virendra Singh from ToolsQA.com. I welcome you to class number 9 on Cucumber in Java. In this class, we will talk about background. Uh, background is basically a keyword which lets you group together the common steps from every scenario so that you, you have to write those uh, test steps only once. So uh, don't worry about it. We will talk in details about it if you are not able to understand it uh, right now. But yeah, background is a keyword which can help you uh, make your feature files look uh, smaller and uh, will help you uh, highlight the essential parts of your feature file. So let me just uh, show it to you with an example. Let me move on to the agenda of the class. Uh, this class is fairly uh, small. It just talks about uh, one topic which is the background keyword in Cucumber. Um, and that's all it talks about. But before moving into this class, I would request uh, you to go back and look at all the videos that we have in this series before coming to the to this class uh, go back and li listen and watch the videos that we had created uh, before this one because here we will be taking references from the previous video if you don't if you haven't gone through them just go through them now all right so we will start with the class uh, let me just go to the first slide that we have the first slide and the only slide here talks about the background keyword so what is a background keyword? Before even going into this, let me just take you back to um, the project that we had earlier. So in the project earlier uh, that we have created since uh, uh, we have created during the series, uh, the project had one has one login feature file. It has a Cucumber runner and it has a login step definition. In the Cucumber, uh, in the login feature file, uh, we are testing the login functionality, and in the login functionality, we are writing two two tests or two scenarios so the first scenario and actually both the scenarios they are fairly simple all they do uh, they uh, go to store.demoqa.com and then user clicks on the my account link and then uh, the scenario talks about entering a valid username and password and then logging into uh, the website and then the final step verifies whether the user was able to successfully log in or not Similarly, in the second scenario, uh, we again go and launch the browser and navigate to the store.demoqa.com page. And then we go back uh, and click on the My Account link. And after that, we do the crux of the, of the scenario, which is we enter some username and password based on the type of scenario that we have. And then we verify whether the user was able to successfully log in or not. Now, if you pay close attention to the, to the two scenarios, you will notice that the first two parts are common. Uh, these two parts are common, they do the same thing. They they launch a browser, they navigate to store.demoqa.com and then they click on the My Account link. Right. So as the number of scenarios grow, you would have to enter the same given and when again and again for the for every scenario that you write which will make your file look bulky. It, it would, your file would look as if there are like a lot of scenarios and a lot of statements in the file. Uh, so what Cucumber provides us with is a keyword called background, background colon. So when you do a background colon, you would see that uh, it turns green, which means that it's a valid keyword. Uh, the background colon, and then what you can do, you can just simply copy the common scenarios common steps and paste it just below the background keyword. Right, so what will happen is that you will have your scenarios left only with the remaining number of steps. You, you, you don't have to worry about the common part now. So what it means here is that for every scenario that Cucumber runs, it will first run the background and then it will jump to the step in the scenario. Right, so what will happen is that whenever scenario one is executed, uh, background step one and two will be executed, and then three and four from the scenario will be executed. It will be repeated for all the scenarios in the feature file. With this, what we have essentially achieved is that we have done the same thing which we were doing earlier, but in lesser number of steps. We now don't have to write the common step again and again. Right, so this is one uh, really important thing that you achieve by using the background keyword. The second important thing is that, uh, let's say right now these are only two steps. Let's say there were five steps which were common. So what would have happened uh, would be that you would, you would have 
five steps and then the last two steps which are basically the crux of your scenario these are the basic these are basically the steps where you are doing the actual work you are uh, logging with a you are doing the login with a valid username and password or an invalid user username and password based on the scenario and then you you are verifying the outcome so these are basically the two main steps in your scenario but had it been that there were like five background uh, five common steps then what would have happened is that anyone who, who would be reading your scenarios he would think that it's a very long scenario and then he would be lost in the details of the common scenarios and to come to the actual test which you would do in the scenario he would have to scan through all the five lines right which makes it cumbersome for anyone to read right and it, it obscures the actual functionality which uh, the scenario is testing so by using the background keyword you basically highlight what exactly the scenario is doing you avoid any kind of uh, noise in the steps in the common steps that that would uh, creep in inside your scenarios so um, this is the second benefit that you get now that is a really important benefit that you get now also pay attention that the background keyword should come before the first scenario keyword that you have in your feature file so you cannot do something like this you cannot do something like this so whenever you do this you would get an error on screen the error says that uh, it will point out that uh, let me just pull out the error well it's somehow not, it's somehow not giving us the error but the error see yeah this is the error it says that it was expecting something like this but it got a background which is something it wasn't expecting so basically the background the right place of a background is somewhere here just before the first scenario and after the feature keyword right so once you have done this uh, you would have smaller smarter looking scenarios and uh, you would avoid typing the same steps again and again for all the scenarios so this is what the background keyword is now let us quickly uh, do a check and let us run the test and let's see what difference it makes so when you run the test it launches the browser it uh, navigates to the store.demoqa.com it will click on the my account link and it will log in with a valid username and password and similarly another browser will open up and it will again do the same thing uh, with a different set of username and password of course and uh, you would see that it will log in right now we have just used the same username name and password when, but in actual life in your real project you might be using different username and passwords so what we have achieved is that the test the both the tests they ran as they were supposed to run all the common scenario all the common steps were executed properly and you would see that all the all the steps have passed right there were two scenarios there were eight steps and all of them passed right so uh, what happened is that the common part was picked up for every scenario so you got the point right so the common part is just put in one single place instead of uh, scattering it all across the scenario list that you have uh, and one very important thing that um, that you would achieve with this is that if there is a small change in the common set of steps then you just have to update it at one place which is at the background right you don't have to worry about updating it in all the scenarios so that is also one uh, extra reason for you to use background right now just let us just quickly take a look at uh, the j unit test runner in the j unit test runner you would see that there were two scenarios in the first scenarios you would see that it appears as if uh, there was no background it appears as if uh, the scenario was written like the way it was written earlier right you will get the given in when which is there in the background similarly in scenario two you will first get the given in when and then you will get the and and then step right so basically background is a really cool and nice feature from cucumber so use it as much as you can but make sure that you always use background for set of steps which are common don't use it for set of steps which require some data modification uh, with each scenario for example had it been like uh, had it been the case that in the first scenario I have to log into store.demoqa.com in the second scenario I have to log into toolsqa.com so I would not use 
background in that case right that wouldn't make sense to handle those situations we have things like scenario outlines so we would talk about scenario outlines later on uh, in the coming video series so that was pretty much it and if you look at the slide that's exactly what we are discussing here we are saying this uh, to summarize we are saying that background is cucumber construct which lets you write common steps only once so that these common steps can be executed before each scenario and we just saw it and an example is something that we just uh, saw in the code uh, but if you look at this particular example that we have mentioned here it says that uh, let's say you want to test the payment functionality on your e-commerce website right to reach to the payment functionality you have to go through the login functionality now login part is common all across the payment tests so why would you want to write the login steps again and again in each scenario you would rather want to uh, put it in one place which is the background so that is the real-time usage of a background scenario background keyword so with this understanding uh, I will close the class as I said it's a fairly simple and small class so see you in the next class thank you